Welcome to Quick Show Chapter 4 tutorial on Quick Text. Here we're going to learn about the Quick Text feature of Quick Show and also we'll, we'll do a little bit more than that and, and learn about the advanced text features of Quick Show as well. The Quick Text tool in Quick Show is found down here in and among this area that we call the Quick Tools. It's the first tool because we expect it would be the most used of all of the Quick Tools. To get to the Quick Text tool, all you have to do is click on the tab here that says Quick Text. That's when you see this area here that's the Quick Text area. All of the Quick Tools share a very similar philosophy in uh, a kind of a step one, step two, step three approach. The first step is in the quick text to enter the text that you want to see. So for example, we'll just uh, put in some example text right here. So you just enter some text select a color that you want, select from one of the many built-in effects that are possible here, for example this one. If we want to see that bigger, we just click on the button here that says bigger. You can click that a couple of times. You can see it's getting bigger. If we want that to scroll faster, we click on this button here that says faster and just like the other button we can click it so in the step one step two step three philosophy the first step is to enter your text and select an appearance of the text the appearances having to do with the color and the font and the size step two is selecting an effect what you want to see applied to that text and step three could be to show it now. For example, if I press the Show It Now button, it will show it on the laser. This button over here allows us to control where we show it. Since Quick Show supports up to 30 separate zones, what you could do is show this text in different zones that you've already been set up. If you've gone through the projection zones setup of Quick Show, you'll notice that you can set up various zones in here. And so QuickShow will remember which zones you've set up and which zones you have not. Once you've done that, you can select which zone to send it to using this area here. So for example, now you can see that the laser output is happening kind of in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. That's where I've set up my zone 5 for secondary graphics. I can also project this over the heads of the audience, in which case you see that the the appearance takes a little bit of a different different shape here in the preview window. Um, or normally we would just send that to the scanner one main zone. So now what you notice here is that we have a variety of effects here. And when you first install Quick Show, it will make it so that you have to move the mouse over each one of the effects to see what it shows. We can also right click on any of these and select preview all in which case we'll be able to see all of the effects refresh at the same time. Now, this is something that I like to do when I first start up QuickShow and once you've done this QuickShow will remember that setting so you'll never have to do that again subsequent times that you start QuickShow. One of the things that you'll notice is that there are a lot of effects in this list here. M many more that can fit in a single view of this monitor. So this scroll bar down here allows us to see more effects and so forth. So you can see the different types of effects that we have to offer. And there's another thing that you'll notice which is this. Some of the effects have the ability for you to select the color here and some of the effects do not like this one here which has a very complex color running through it 
same way with this one has kind of a, a rainbow appearance of the, the colors. Well, in the case of these, the, the colors for this type of effect is not defined in the color area here, but rather defined by an embedded portion of the text effect itself. And to get to that embedded portion, all we have to do is click on this, and it will take us to the area of the text effect that is applying that color. From there, what we can do is we can change the colors. For example, maybe I want it to be, instead of a purple and white, I want it to be a purple and blue. So now we can see that we can affect those colors. The same way with this kind of ocean effect right here, what I can do is choose different colors entirely, just like that. This one here, we can put some different color in there, just like that. So basically what we have, again, is a kind of a, a step one, step two, step three approach. Step one is to specify your text and the color you want and the size you want. Step two is to select an effect that you want applied to that text. Step three could be to show it now. It could also be once we have this looking the way we want, we can drag and drop this to a queue just like that, and it's there anytime we need it. If we select that, it will be started. We can also turn that off as usual. One of the things that I haven't covered yet is the fonts. Each one of these not only has an effect built into it, but an, a font that's already pre-selected for that effect as well. Most of these have a standard Arial type of outline font. Some of them have a laser style stick font like this. And you can always select a font even and apply that font to any one of these. So for example, I uh, select this ocean, which has kind of a, a rounded outline font by default. If you just click on this font button here, you'll be able to uh, either choose a separate true type font like for example, maybe we want to use um, something like this with serifs. Or you can choose a laser specific font, load laser font down here. In which case uh, you could use a different font. Stick font is a very low, um, kind, of, kind of low point count font, so that might be a good choice there. Once again, after you do that, you can kind of come in here and make it bigger or smaller as needed. And so that's how you select the fonts. And that could be done on any one of these um, effects. Just select a new font. For example, load laser font, I can choose the architect font. That's a, a pretty interesting one as well. Make that a bit bigger. Now, all of these effects are actually made up of something more complex. These are really quick effects that we can apply to some quick text just like this. It just makes it very easy to use and to get to some text, get get some text up on the screen very quickly. But all of these are really based on something that you can really do a lot more complicated yourself and, and build on this. So for example, for this one here, perspective scroll, I, I can edit that by either clicking this button right here or if I right click I can select edit item and we can take a look at what that is this is made up of the advanced text editor here we can add to that for example what I can do is come over here and come into a character effect and add an, for example an oscillating rotation about Z and so now that will change this effect right here if I click OK then that effect becomes changed forever Another thing that we can do is completely add our own new effect. We can add our own new effect based on any one of these effects or or even based on nothing. For example, if I click here, I right click and say add a new item. What I will do is I'll come up to this text effect editor here in which case that I can choose a new font if I want to. I can apply a color effect over the whole thing. I can come over here and apply a character effect like this and I can make my own new effect just like this click OK and there's my new effect now my new effect doesn't have a name but if I right click and say rename item 
then I can give this a name. My new effect. Just like that. So the quick text allows you to enter in some text, choose a color, choose a size. If you want to, you can change the font, um, choose an effect, and very quickly put text anywhere instantly to any zone you want, or simply drag and drop that to a queue for use and, and calling up later on. Um, so that's really the extent of quick text and also advanced text. You can also get to the advanced text editor by any one of these. What we can do is we can right click and say edit text, in which case this will come up to the advanced text editor. Um, if we want to create a brand new item, we can just click into an empty queue, click the right mouse button and say collect, uh, create new text come up with a blank text editor like that or if we ever want to just simply edit this you know for example um, here it says Bill is great maybe we have a new guy whose party it is tonight and, and his name is George and we and when we want to do George is great so to edit this all you do sort of like to create the text what I do is drag and drop it up into a queue like that if we want to edit this text all we need to do is drag and drop it down into this area here what normally we do is drag and drop this to the tab itself but you don't even really have to be that precise what you'll notice is that when I drag and drop this downward we have these black flashing arrows on the left hand side those black flashing arrows are trying to tell us that that is the item where this event will go and it'll be just dropped in there so if I just release the mouse button there like this, it will automatically load that in, in which case I can edit it, for example. Now it's George is great, and drag and drop this back up into a queue. So it's very easy to create new text with quick text, and very easy to edit existing text items just by dragging and dropping them down into the area here and it will get loaded just like that so that's how you create new text items and edit existing text items